Welcome to myprojectbazaar.com Our product title is Transformer Less Unified Power Flow Controller using the Cascade Multi-Level Inverter. Let us see about abstract of our product. Power system is mainly concerned with the production of electrical power and its transmission from the sending end to the receiving end. The power at the consumer end is often subjected to changes due to the variation of load or due to disturbances induced within the length of transmission line. In this proposed implementation, a modulation and control method for the new transformerless unified power flow controller is presented. As is well known, the conventional UPFC that consists of two back-to-back -back inverters requires bulky and often complicated zigzag transformers for isolation and reaching high power rating with desired voltage waveforms to overcome this problem a complexity transformer less UPFC based on an innovative configuration of two cascaded multi-level inverter has been proposed. The new UPFC offers several advantages over the traditional technology such as transformerless, lightweight, high efficiency, low cost and fast dynamic response. Efficiency of module is analyzed and presented using a real sample. Simulation tests are performed on a cascaded multi-level inverter based UPFC controller using MATLAB software. Next we see about flow diagram of our product. This is our flow diagram. In this flow diagram consists various modules that is power grid, cascader multi-level inverter, distributed generator, distributed bus load. Power grid is nothing but is interconnected network for delivering electricity from suppliers to consumers and distributed generator is nothing but it is a generation the electric power for various resources and after that that electricity is transmitted to the power grid uh, through a UPFC controller the main function of UPFC controller is uh, injected the real and reactive power to the transmission line uh, uh, the main purpose real and reactive power is compensated the power factor of overall power transmission and distribution systems here we using two CMI that means two cascader multi-level inverters one is connected in series another one connected in parallel the series CMI is directly connected to the transmission line with series after the series CMI the sand CMI is connected in series with the distributed buses the output of the distributed bus is fed into the power grid and after the output of the power grid is delivered to the consumers the consumer load is nothing but various commercial domestic applications oriented loads next we see about running process of our product in this product is done in MATLAB simulating version 2013A First, we open the MATLAB window and create a new design model window. Uh, open the new model window. We select the specific simulating elements getting from the simulating library browser and arrange the circuit design. Overall design will be completed. Then click the simulation icon. Then the output will be displayed in the corresponding scopes. Generally, the UPFC is provide the real and reactive power to the transmission line for the power factor compensation and uh, the proposed design having some features such as unlike the conventional back to back DC link coupling there is no transformer and uh, uh, CMI based UPFC the new UPFC can achieve low cost, less weight, small size, high efficiency, high reliability and fast dynamic response. 
the main sunt connected inverter is connected after the series inverter uh, which is distributed different from the traditional UPFC and its own DC capacitor is act as the DC voltage and there is no active power exchange between two CMIs and the new UPFC use modular CMIs and their incurrent redundancy characteristics after simulating the design we open the corresponding scopes first of all the open the pulses of series inverter waveform this is the corresponding pulses waveform for series cascade multi-level inverter and next one is sent pulses for parallel connected CMI waveform and the next the output waveform of start cam is generally the UPFC is consist one stat cam and one series synchronous static compensator so the stat cam output is here uh, this is the VS and VDC and Q and V mean value and next one the triple C that means static synchronous series compensated first one uh, v i a b c and v in and magnitude of v in and v d c and p l 1 and q l 1 p l 1 is nothing but real power and this is reactive power and next one the u p of c this is the output overall output of the u p of c first one the real power and reactive power reference value and second one real power and reactive power it's getting from the corresponding power grids and next one the PQ characteristics of UPFC so the overall output will be based on the efficiency and power factor thank you for watching this video